Hi there, this is Unmesh from Perfect. Thank you so very much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate that. And also, I hope you guys are doing amazing and most importantly, staying safe. Today, I'm going to share with you one of the easiest ways to add depth and dimension to the skin tones in Photoshop. Now, do keep in mind that it does require a Photoshop panel. It just makes the process so much more easier and faster. However, no need to worry. If you don't want to use the panel, that's absolutely fine. In the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to do it without any panels or actions or any of that. So I've got you covered. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the brilliant world of Photoshop and as usual, if you want to go ahead and download this photo and follow along, complete the sentence. Anyway, so here we need to add dimension to the skin. A little bit of depth here. As you can see, it's fine. It looks okay. But it would look more dramatic if we had more depth. How to do it? Well, First part of the video, I'm going to show you how to do it with a panel. This is a panel that I highly recommend and nobody has paid me to say this. All right, this is not a sponsored post. I really personally genuinely like it. And that panel is actually Lumenzia. You can download it and after you download and install it, you will find it inside Windows, Extensions, Legacy and inside of that Lumenzia. Now, there are lots of features of this and we have covered this before in this video. However, this one creates a curves adjustment like this button right there. And if you click on any of these buttons, these are luminosity mask presets. And based on that, you can create a curves adjustment layer with that as a mask. However, if you hold the shift key and then click on this button, you can choose curves for all white zones as blendive. So for all brightness level zones or all luminosity zones, it's going to create a curves adjustment layer and that too not as a layer mask. You can choose to create it with a layer mask, but you can also choose to create it as blend if. So just choose that and hit OK. Now you will see that five curves adjustment layers would be created. If you want more, you can just hold the shift key and click on it. And this time you can choose curves for all narrow zones. If you choose that, more zones would be created, but we do not want it. So I'm just going to hit the escape key. All right. Now we have all of these curves adjustment layer. This one is for the dark areas and this one, the topmost one, is for the absolute bright areas. Now keep in mind these are not luminosity masks. These are different zones of the image based on luminosity as blendive. So let's start with the topmost curve. Double click on it and now you can take it up or down. I'm going to take it up a little bit. I'm going to make the brights a little brighter just as this much. Let's start with the second one. And if we make it brighter, it doesn't look that great. Let's leave it the way it is. Let's start with the third one. Let's see what it has. So if we take it down, this is how it looks. If we take it up, this is how it looks. So it's basically targeting the midtones. We want to make it slightly darker. Have a look how easily it's making the skin tones rich. This looks about right to me. We don't have to go too much. And these, I think, would be for the dark areas. Not extreme dark, but relatively dark areas. Now, one thing you might notice that we have another point right here that Lumenzia has already added. Now, that point prevents us from making the extreme dark areas even darker, thus losing details. So if I take away that point, the extreme dark areas would go even darker. We don't want that. Just create a point in the middle and take it down. I think the last one is for the extreme dark areas like the hair and we can leave it the way it is. Now, it creates a group with all of those curves adjustment layers. So right now what we can do, we can select the background layer and then select any of these three tools, the object selection, the quick selection or the magic wand. And at the top, you will see select subject. Just make a selection of the subject. Click on that. Photoshop automatically does it. Now in the zone curves, just select that group and click on the mask button so that it only applies to the subject. Now you can always take it away from the hair, but one essential thing that you need to keep in mind, whenever you do something like this, try and see if it's also darkening the underside of the eyes. I don't know if that's called underside, you get the point. The under eyes, I'm losing the word in my mind, but you get the point. So in most cases, you might notice that it also makes the under eyes very dark. So you might want to take this effect away from just that area. So select the mask, Take the brush black as the foreground color. Take a soft round brush. Let's make the brush a little smaller and take it away from this particular area. See, it fixes that. Similarly, from this area as well. Also, if it's affecting the hair, we can take it away from the hair as well. 
There we go. Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Just take a look at the difference. Also, I would like to take it a little away from her body. So let's decrease the flow to about 10% and just erase it away a little bit from the body. And there you have it, my friend. If you feel it's too much, just decrease the opacity to about 60% and there you have it. Just a little subtle change makes a hell lot of difference in the final result. So here is the before, look at it. And here is the after. Just look at the dimension we are adding here. Super cool, isn't it? Now, the Lumenzia panel is not expensive and I'm not saying what I feel. If you look at similar panels of similar caliber and of similar capabilities, you would notice that it's very, very reasonably priced. And also, I did a video before where I got a coupon code for Lumenzia. So you can use the code PIX25 to get an additional $25 off. So the panel is about 39 ish dollars off i don't remember the last time i checked and if you apply the coupon it'll be 25 off even more so i've linked it up in the description but if you don't want to buy it or don't want to make that investment that's absolutely fine too i'm going to show you how to do it without using lumenzia or any other panel it's also very simple it'll just do require some manual work but that's fine so for that again simply create a curves adjustment layer and you can make three of it Press Ctrl or Command J thrice, or you can also make five, that's up to you. I'm just gonna make three for demonstration to make it simpler. With the first curves adjustment layer, you can create a point and take it up, just like this. Now, double click on the right hand side of the layer, and we only want it in the bright areas, right? So take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right. Now you would notice that it's very harsh. So I want it in these bright areas, so hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on it, to break it apart, to make the transition smoother, and just make the transition smoother. Just like this, it seems to be about right. Okay, all right, we can stop right here. Now, for the second one, if you wanna make the midtones a little darker, you would just drag it down, something like this. Now, we want to only limit it to the midtones. So, you double click on the right hand side of the layer, and we don't want it in the highlights, and also we don't want it in the shadows. So, just take it away from the highlights, this is where I want to start. Hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on it to break it apart. And we're gonna stop just about right here. Okay, that seems to be about right. Do not forget that we also need to take it away from the shadows. So let's take it away from the extreme shadows. Now we are only affecting roughly the midtones. Now let's just worry about the shadows with the third one. We're gonna bring it down and will only limit it to the shadows. Double click on the right hand side of the layer. Take the slider of the underlying layer from right to left. These dark shadowy areas. Hold the Alt key or the Option key. Click on it to break it apart. And take it all the way apart. There we go. This looks okay. Now the only problem with doing it manually is that you have to be extra, extra careful. It can be done. It can yield amazing results. But if you don't do this properly, what will happen is you will see little banding here and there. So you need to be watchful of that. So make sure you don't see any of that. And once you're sure, just hit OK. And there you go. It also creates amazing results. So select all of these three. Select the first one, hold the Shift key, select the last one, press Ctrl or Command G. Turn it off, select the background layer, and then select any of these three selection tools, or simply select the quick selection tool. Click on select subject. Now we have a selection of the subject. Turn on the group, and then click on the mask button. Now in this case, you don't have extra control over the zones, so some things we have to do it manually. For instance, the hair is just affected too much. So select the mask, take the brush, Take a soft round brush and erase it from the hair areas. Make sure the flow is at 100. And we're going to erase it from there. Make sure it's not erased from the face areas. Great. Also, let's zoom in and erase it from under eye area. There we go. Fixed. This area is also fixed. Now, of course, this would be too much. Let's decrease the opacity and slowly and gradually increase it to a point. That looks good to us. To me, if you ask me, I'm going to just keep it at about 70%. So there you go. That's how to do it without a panel and with a panel. It's up to you as to how you would like to do it. If you're using a panel, you're just paying for convenience. If you want to have additional control and you want to manually do everything, 
this can be done too. Also, if you're feeling too ambitious, you can also create your own actions like this. So you can create an action which automatically creates five curves adjustment layers with different blend if levels. And that's a wrap. Just a quick little recap. To add depth and dimension to the skin, you just have to create curves adjustment layers for different zones. For example, here in this case, you have one zone for the bright areas, like this is for the bright areas, this one is for the extremely dark areas, this is for the midtones, so on and so forth. These zones are based on luminosity, and you simply add dimension by brightening the areas where the majority of the light is falling, and darkening the areas where the majority of the light is not falling. That's all there is to it. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.